influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. Uh, is he a snitch? Because he came out the other day and a lot of people think you coached him. You seen that? Were the people tagging you in that? I did coach him. You coached him? Like a motherfucker. You told him to go up there and say that? I, on man, day? I told him, man, nigga, go play slow and crazy. Uh, now I had a long talk with Woody. Nigga <laughs> told him, yeah, nigga, go play slow and crazy. Uh, and But see, this is what people keep forgetting, nigga. He really a killer. I know. Nigga, my gang unit partner, I homie. Uh, say, nah, homie, nah, nigga. Man, Woody, man, Woody had a shootout with his baby in his hand. Them niggas had ARs, homie. And, and this, is, this is on camera that the police got. Uh, Nigga, that nigga put the baby in the car and started back shooting. Woody's smarter than a lot of people think. Oh. Young, you say nothing I say can be used against me? That's right. Me and Threat shot up Rich on the corner there at the barbershop on Bankhead. Hey, did, did, last but not least, did this for possum, man. This for my man's possum right here, man. Hey, my boy, all that time about you outside. My boy, you ain't know what but NC5 seat. You ain't know what but in your in your surrounding area. My boy, you ain't know where I'm at. Career street, for real. Like respecting your boogie wig. You just got the internet boogie wig folks who ain't from Atlanta type around your way. And on top of that, my boy, you ride around with every dime that you own on you. If you can ride around with every dime that you own on you, that ain't no money, my brother. Go get you a bank account, my boy. Then evidently you ain't got no spot. You, you must stay with your mama or something still, my brother. Hey, possum, go get you a spot, possum. Go get you, go get you some real going, my boy. Cause, hey, man, re respecting that boogie wig. Don't let them be the small time street punks on the internet juice up and make you think you're a real. You'll ne you can never be a real no more. Shout out once you write it. Go check your post again, my boy. And, 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 and check reality. Come on, man. We've been getting money, man. Check my track record. Man. Ain't nothing done until you cause I see you done became a real goofy. Like, so you slaving for a white boy, man. No funny style shit. You might be getting fucked by the white boy the way you acting, bro. But besides all that. Bro, they lame man nigga just say, bro, I'll give you a million dollars if you can recite any any YSL Mundo verse. Bro, you don't even have a million dollars. So you don't even have 5,000 to your name, broke ass nigga. You forgot you was just on the phone with me two weeks ago talking about how fucked up you was and what you was going through. Boy, you pathetic, boy. You pathetic, Brit, baby. I ain't gonna even count. You, you been hanging around Adam too much. And I ain't got no disrespect to Adam, but you done became too phony and like the internet shit. Cause, boy, you know if you was in my face, why you need to play with me? I just posted a DM when you just pleading the filth. You playing the field trying to explain to me who you went hanging around and what you were doing. But you go right back to L.A. and go making an interview talking goofy. Right, big baby, sit your boogie wig ass down somewhere, broke ass nigga. You can't even show me 10000 boy, of your money. Goofy, you don't even have a million dollars, boy. Get your broke ass on, boy. You eat dick, faggot. But see, what is in L.A.? He need to mind L.A. business. You feel me? I ain't never seen Wack a day in my life. You know, Brick, baby, you know, everybody heard of him. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Then he has... They used my grandma's house was right across the street from him. Mm. I mean, and so I don't mind him speaking on the land of beating because he here, he here with us. Mm. Man, only thing I hear about what is he laying in the bed, I think butt naked or something. Yeah, but you don't get out the shower and, and lay down on your bed naked before you get dressed? Why you on camera? It was a girl that he was with who took that photo. Yeah, she snuck a film. He freaky like you. And, no, not like me. And then she How many times you watched it? Uh, probably seven or eight times. But, uh, no, but then... <laughs> and he likes seeing that that same girl lied and said that she put three fingers in his ass. How you know she lied? You tried... My OG would never. Your OG would never? Yeah, yeah, that's that's my guy. Nah, I don't got nothing against Wet, though. You know what I mean? I just don't like... I just don't like no... Because I don't know Wet for me to be speaking bad on him. I was just speaking on him, period. Yeah. Um, Y'all don't know nothing going on with, with YSL. But if you became, like, a lifelong podcaster, at some point, you're going to end up in a situation where you have to talk about other people's legal drama and, and other shit that they got going that's on. Which is, that's kind of the position Wax in. It's like, he, he talks about L.A. Shit all the time, but if there's a big trial going on in Atlanta, he's probably going to end up talking about that, too. Right, so, but that's why I won't be no podcast. Mm. Because, you know what I mean, I ain't trying to be getting it in other people's business. Hey, I got a million dollars you, if you could recite a verse from YSL Mondo and the Young Thug song, bro. I have a million dollars. I, I, I could give you one, one shout-out. Slide Mondo with it. Man, that's it, man. It's over with, man. Don't make me tell the world how y'all changed up on my boy, man, when he start getting his money, man. I've been trying to keep it to where y'all YSL and all that. The only YSL nigga ain't know the case, the one that's causing all the confusion, man. Fonny, Fonny's old client, she beat your last case, did she? Working on her talking, talking.
talking about Woody. Man, don't nobody give a damn about Woody. Hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, everybody care about Young Thug. Young Thug is the nigga in Atlanta. Woody ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga. I was the first snitch to get love in Atlanta. <laughs> nah, I'm the first nigga to play snitch and they hug home. You can't tell me nothing, nigga. I'm the first snitch and then a second. And I, oh, what's I, up, huh? Why is it gonna go tell it? I told y'all before they start telling, nigga. I'm a, I'm the prophet. <laughs> hey, oh, what, yeah, the, what the hell you got going on? I don't give a damn about no nigga not fucking. With me, I don't fuck with no nigga. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with hoes. Everybody know that. <laughs> 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 I fuck with hoes. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of respect for him. Um, I just watched his interviews, you know, on YouTube and stuff. Listen the way he talked. But it seems now it's like he doing these interviews and I don't like him. You feel me? Like he get on the internet, somebody I'm a killer, and all of it. Like they ain't bro. Like man, you don't talk about none of this stuff. You going to do it on these platforms? Oh. I, like my respect for you, I'm losing it because it's like they ain't. I got real genuine love for you. I thought that you had the same thing for me. But you want to get on these platforms and say, I'm a killer. And I walk around Atlanta, like, you trying to provoke it. Like, even with the Boosie. Boosie don't respond back to who's like, I ain't trying to have problems. I ain't out here trying to mess with nobody. I ain't trying to have beef with nobody. I don't did that for, like, too many years of my life. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm trying to move forward with it. And I ain't trying to be dragged into nothing because I know how I can get and you playing, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, and I, and like I said, I didn't expect you to, to be doing this. You feel me? Because the respect I had, I put you so high up in my, you feel what I'm saying? I don't respect people that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, he kind of hurt my feeling with, with, with doing the interviews, speaking on my situation. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't proud of this stuff. I ain't proud of none of this stuff I went through. Why I said Woody, uh, Lil Woody. Um, how is the man? You know what I'm saying? Because people thought. Oh, uh, he's a he's a loving, caring, uh, loyal, uh, damn fool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he, he see talking to me. Yeah, I walk all around Atlanta with that. Don't nobody say nothing to him. Ooh. Cause you gotta understand, Thug them wasn't doing the killing and shooting. He was. He called a Woody on him. He was doing, and then you hear him say on stand when they call me, I don't ask no question. I just go. He just go. He told y'all that when he shot up Rich Homie Corn. He said when they call, I don't have no credit. I just go. Who did what? And homie, uh, uh, don't y'all forget he a real killer. Sammy the Bull was a real killer, homie. He he killed thirty some people in tow, and didn't need no protection in prison. They know who to mess with. See, one thing you ain't never seen, my, is two vipers get in the pit. That's why the baddest boxers never really fight each other. So I've been seeing you hanging out with uh, YSL Woody. Man, yeah. what linked y'all up? Uh, I got paid to link up with him. Yeah, I got paid uh, five figures. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I got paid five motherfucking figures uh, to hook up with him. But I had already met him uh, by way of his manager, who used to be my publicist, a good friend of mine by the name of Angel. So Angel started managing Woody. So she had already been trying to get us together. And uh, I said, man, I don't want to do nothing with that nigga, because he, he a real killer. Despite what y'all saying, nigga, that nigga a real motherfucking killer, and he dangerous. And he a violent motherfucking killer. Shit, you look like you was having a good time. I was. Uh, uh, I was, but he, 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 he's no, he ain't killing, homie. He's walking in redemption. So you, you heard him say, I go to church every Sunday. Uh, you see him in the community getting money back, you know, he helping the youth. So I told her I ain't want to do nothing with no nigga that's upholding the street culture. Uh, nigga, he broke the street culture. Nigga, he's testifying. Uh, he, he, he showed me that he's smarter than what everybody think he is because one of the first rules I learned about the streets is there's no honor amongst thieves. So I'm not honorable amongst a bunch of thieves. I'm going to tell her to get out of jail, nigga, to get back to my mama because there's no honor. It's no honor. So how, how am I going to get in this game and think that we all going to be loyal? when the mafia ain't loyal to each other. We don't know now group from BMF to Rafa Edmonds. We don't know no group have remained complete loyal to each other, not even YSL. So why would I be a fool, nigga, to hurt my mom and my kids to uphold these street codes? Come on, my nigga. When they now, nigga, go come see me. My brother just come home from doing 31 years in prison. I got out in 1998 out of the boys' home. 
So from 98 till two years ago, as much as I've been going to go see my brother, I've never seen the homies in the visitation room. I ain't never seen the homies, nigga, uh, put money on the books like mama, the girl, and grandmama do. So why would I be law to something that ain't law to us? So I nigga, nigga, fuck being law. Nigga, be law to what's law to you, nigga. And it ain't the homies. So would your advice be, like, to why tell, I said Woody to Keep tell him your thug? Uh, well, uh, he already told. My, my advice to any nigga like Woody, Woody was a real shooter. Nigga, the, the shooters be the crash out homies who we play like we love. And when they crash out, nigga, he don't ball like the rest of them niggas. So that was part of the reason why nigga tell on you, homie. Nigga, I'm killing for you niggas, homie. You niggas caught. Did y'all hear him testify say when they shot up that man barber shop? He didn't ask no question. He just said, come on. That's how they do the shooters. And then when the shooters crash out, nigga, Oh, uh, my nigga was a real nigga, but you ain't making sure he got no real ass lawyer. Well, when, when I sat down and did an interview with 6 9 right? Mm -hmm. Guys like, Brick had a lot to say. Did he? I don't remember that. Yeah. Now he's saying, I don't care about the streets no more. That's not what he said. That's what he said. No. He definitely said, I don't care about the streets. I don't care what the streets have to say. He said it. No, he didn't. Out of his it. mouth. He would never say the streets. Bullshit. He abides by the code of the that's, streets, that's if anything. Um, what Brick was doing that afternoon, he came along with us while we were doing the interview. We're at the studio. He's hanging out. Didn't want to be on camera, even though he probably would have added something he to that conversation. He left LAX knowing he was taking you to Woody. We were supposed to do a lot of different things there. Woody was only one of them. And then... So why he didn't go back to his room? We spent some time stomping around the city, went off to Mechanicsville, and Brick stayed nearby, held me down. Now, I did have my own security, so not 100% necessary, but Brick, you know, why would he want to leave his close confidant, hey, bro. alleged gay lover, if you were to ask someone like yourself, hey, bro. Why, would he, why would he abandon me? Just so what? So that he wouldn't have people like you trying to make a commotion and call him out no. because he stood near Woody in Here's that the photo. Point.